the keepers of the dawn, Sirius and Venus, Inner Space Voyages. Both Sirius and Venus are emerging from the solar light and rising just before dawn on the eastern horizon. Sirius rises first and is further south of east on the horizon line. You will see the distinctive constellation Orion above and the belt stars of Orion act like a pointer line to Sirius below the three star belt and the cloudy Orion nebula. Venus is brighter and rises close to due east. It is visible for longer as well. Being brighter, it lasts longer through the dawn as a visible star. When a star is close in the sky to the sun, we are not able to view it here on Earth. When it moves out of the light sphere of the sunlight and we can see it rising on its own again before dawn, we are witnessing the heliacal rising. This revelation moment, the heliacal rising, is an age-old important noted time by sky watchers. In ancient sky watching cultures, which is all ancient cultures, the heliacal rising of stars was used as a marker of time and a way to seat seasonal and annual calendars. The ancient sky watchers and shamans were the ones who guided and informed the people of the important dates, and they were the keepers of the calendars set by the skies. An important role would be the keepers of dawn, to awaken in the darkness and watch the skies. A clear open vista to an eastern horizon line was a precious, potent, important point of observation. Many a sacred site include an obs observatory temple space and often stone structure monuments to accentuate and highlight these celestial body risings of stars and planets, sun and moon. Modern devices, our calendars, our moon charts and observatories have made the role of rising and watching somewhat redundant. We can use the phones in our pockets to connect with many charts and data sets. The task of being the watcher, the keeper of the dawn, is less critical to village life and has largely faded. Yet so many of us are remembering and reawakening our innate skill sets as celestial shamans. Many of us have the sky watcher tendency encoded in our being, where we feel the call to rise as keepers of the dawn. It is truly why some of these traditions of waking and connecting in the cosmos have permeated so many sacred practices and rituals. Because this time of day has a potent opening or gateway quality, which is precious and pure. The light that shines as day breaks is called the Brahman Hrota, the ambrosial hour, the Amrit Vela, the nectar of the gods, the honey of immortality. A similar ambrosial gateway exists at sunset too. As modern day celestial shamans, we rise at this hour for the love, the light, the joy of it, to connect with the cosmos, to receive inspiration and illumination, to uplift the soul. In early September this year, the keepers of the dawn are graced with two important celestial bodies rising before dawn, Sirius and Venus. Both became potentially visible in mid to late August, their heliacal rising. This visibility depends on your location, both your longitude placement, your sight lines, as well as clear sky and your weather. My region has been blessed with much moisture this summer, which includes copious cloud cover. So sightings of stars and planets have been less. I myself got my first clear glimpse of Venus and Sirius, these celestial lights, these beauties on September 1st. The pictures here I took on that special first sight morning. September 3rd is of note as Venus and Sirius rise close together on the eastern horizon. 
called their cosmic rising. This cosmic rising is when two celestial bodies rise together. Venus also completes a period of retrograde motion September 3rd and turns direct. So like a pendulum swing, that Venus turn direct point is as close as these two, Venus and Sirius, get together in the sky this season. These two celestial beauties will grace our low east horizon early morning skies for the first few weeks of September. So you can get out there and view for yourself anytime in early September. Get up early to catch a glimpse. This week, Venus has been rising around 4.20 a.m. Venus is the brighter one. It's to the left, and that's further east. Sirius rises south of east, so it'll be off to the right. And then take note of Procyon, which triangulates between them. You can also use the pointer stars of Orion's belt to track your way to Sirius. Venus in her diamond light will be obvious. And then you'll see Pro Procyon a little bit fainter right between them. 